Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 starting out with the rune scimitar drop right there and the 44 prayer I'm pretty sure um, so this episode I will be talking over the clips because I couldn't get my microphone to work and I still didn't get a new one so I'm still stuck here with this old one but we're gonna do the best with it as possible and wait for the new mi microphone to arrive so enjoy the episode 8. So a guy just scold and I attacked him fast enough and um, I killed him, I got a banky. I also got uh, all those natures and uh, these two stuff and uh, 15k coins. And now let's take a look at, I mean, a look at the deadness chest if we got something good of it. We did get 17k out of that, 5 magic logs, I guess that that's the majority of where the money comes from. But overall, uh, a nice misclick there by a guy, and um, yeah, some more cash in our bank. There we go, after selling almost the entire bank, I am now ready to ensure my HP. And holy shit was I waiting for that for a really really long time. Well, that actually means we do not have a bank right now, because I literally sold everything from the post box and everything from my bank as well in order to just ensure my HP, so we can put this off and filter off and um, yeah, let's see what uh, we can do with this link right here okay, so uh, death is everywhere, life insurance, blah blah uh, can I buy a life insurance please? okay uh, I can ensure you okay, sure um, ensure me level 75 for 1 million GP there we go, rip cash stack, but that means we can now protect something else instead of HP. What? Um, this probably doesn't work like that. So I think I'm uh, protecting this right now. My bank, as you can see, is completely nothing right now, so um, yeah, that's it. Oh, look at this guy schooling on level 3s. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. He literally just attacked them and thank you for some air runes and whatnot. Holy shit, this guy had 2k mind runes. Okay then. Um, sure. And also shit ton of air runes that I didn't even see. Let's quickly check that kit, it's from a level 3 guy that's called on me. 16k, thank you. Okay, that's all I needed. And so right here I just decided to hunt a little bit um, just to get some money back. Each black chain is around 1k. It could be around 901k and right now I need to get my dragon long sword and my DDS so I will try to be here until I have 300 chains and then I'll bank it put it in the deposit box and probably come here again since this is my main money making method so um, yeah I might talk to you on another level when I reach 300 chains or maybe a big bear comes so I do have something planned in case of someone shows up but right now I'm not too worried since my bank is really not that that big so three 
300 chains catched, but I'll stay here until 100 levels, so that is 40 chains more. And I will round it up nicely with 350 chains, I'm pretty sure, so this is a goal for now. I hope I don't get the cake in this last step of the hunting, but uh, I think it should be fine since it's the clock when it's not really busy, so um, yeah, the, I don't know, 45 chains left, so let's do this. And we are safe, 350 chains. There we go, 350k. Kaboom! Okay, so a very quick report. We are now 85 range as well as 55 slayer. We bought ourselves the room full hand, one fight shield and one cape road bolts. We sold the dragon long sword for that. And um, we had to skip a task because we got Iron Dragons, we skipped that, and then we got um, Trolls, and Trolls are really dangerous in that memo, so I had to make a task of Ice Fiends, and then I got a Blood Belt, so this I think is my second task, and we will not get points from it. But other than that, our experience in the range per hour will increase now, since we have Blood Bolts, and uh, we're gonna try and get our Slayer up as well. Remember the secrets And your soul will mend We are magical, so magical Our weights in gold And we will never grow So if you are lower level, there is a way to flinch Elberg. So right here I just specced him out early, just cause, yeah, I can. 
but uh, later that kill I will show you how to flinch him. Uh, the poison kinda fucked it up though, but uh, if you're lower level just run to this corner right there and wait until Elvark loses health bar, then hit him and run back and he will not hit you. Uh, here I think poison kicks in, so again I couldn't hit him until he loses the health bar and then as the health bar goes hit him and run back to the safe place and just repeat that until you manage to kill him as you can see once again his health bar disappears and I run back to the place and yeah here I just decided to kill him and um, if you're lower level you can actually do this quest with the stats like 30 30 30 or even less than that so um, yeah that was it what I wanted to say and this video is mainly muted because yeah I couldn't get microphone to work but uh, I hope this helps some of you guys And before you finish the quest, make sure to open those doors. It can uh, be like a safe, safe thing to do. Okay, so that was it for episode 8 of the Deadman Mode Progress. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you watched till the end, make sure to let me know that in the comments. And of course, make sure to subscribe. We're getting really close to 400 subs already. And um, yeah, uh, I'm also still waiting for the microphone to ship in. So I'm still recording on a camera. There weren't many clips where I was actually talking. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to check another video. And um, yeah, that was it from me. Have a nice day. Bye.